Entertaining is one of my very favorite things to do. I love having friends over. And when I do have a party, I always like to have a signature cocktail to frame up the evening. I'm here with our family food expert, Alice Seufert, and she is going to give me some fresh ideas on cocktails that I can create for my guests. Yes. All right, Hi. So let's get started. Well, I'm gonna show you today how you can make a signature cocktail, which you like to do when you entertain, but make it super easy okay. and year round. So we're gonna make a strawberry syrup first. And I love doing the strawberry syrup because when guests come over, you know, they're expecting, you know, a, a regular cocktail, probably one of their favorites, like a gin and tonic or something but here we're taking a strawberry syrup and when you bring that out the guests really think that it's pretty spectacular and that you've gone some to some extra effort to make a really fun cocktail for them I'll pour you a little glass of it so you could see okay. and so you can add this to cocktails but then you could also drizzle it on pancakes um, and we can Delicious. also make a non-alcoholic drink by adding it to like bubble water too okay. it's really yeah. good I can taste how fresh it is yeah. too okay I'm ready to learn okay let's go make it so on the stove here, I have about two pounds of strawberries, and all I did was just take out the stems and cut them in half, and then I added about a half a cup of sugar and two cups of water and just brought it to a boil. Okay. And I also I like to add a little bit of vanilla bean extract, too. And this came to a boil, but now we've got it kind of simmer, right? Yep, simmering, mm -hmm. and I let it like cool down just a little bit, mm -hmm. and then um, we'll take it over and I'll show you. We put it in a mesh strainer and just kind of let it sit there and let all this beautiful syrup come out. You know, sometimes it's frustrating when you're you want to know time duration mm -hmm. but sometimes it's a visual thing with cooking too and I think with especially when you're making um, strawberry syrup you can see like all the color is coming out of the berries now yes. so it's a really really light pink and that means it's ready it's ready for you to make okay. the syrup so now is it time to make our cocktails it is all right so the first drink that we're gonna make is a mojito so People love mojitos, and so this is an easy way to incorporate the strawberry syrup into that. So I'll have you just start with, um, you want to find something in your house that you can muddle the mint with. Mm -hmm. And so um, I'll just take a bunch of mint leaves like this, and let's put some lime, lime wedges, a little bit of sugar. And I like how we're doing things today because this is my style of cooking. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Not exact measurements necessarily. Right, and I think too, um, I'll have you get started if you want to muddle that. Okay. Um, and I'm think, just using this spoon. Yeah, exactly. It. Just mash it down. With all of these drinks, you know, I think the basics as far as alcohol goes, one to two ounces per drink is a good ratio. So, so it's like a two to one kind of. Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yep. So with a mojito, we're using white rum. So, Happy, what you're doing in there is you're releasing all the oils from the mint leaves okay. and all the oil from the lime. So, mash that up a little bit more. And then um, what we're going to do is add that to this glass. And what I like to do is do the alcohol first and then add the mixer. Okay. So, and that's why I think it's important that you kind of, if you can get away from the rule following mm -hmm. with drink recipes and kind of see because using different size glasses. So, pour that right in here. Yep, and you want all that in there. So I just, I'm adding my mixer until it seems at about the right level for the glass. And then what I want you to do is pour in some strawberry syrup. I, so I'd say about two tablespoons would be good for this drink. I think that's perfect. Okay, try that and tell me what you think. If I must. Okay. You must. <laughs> this looks delicious. It looks really fancy, right? And super easy. Mm, that's good. So we'll make another drink that's a, like a drink that you kind of find a lot of times okay. at parties. So we're going to make a gin and tonic. So here, again, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Like, you know, I kind of go like one, two. Yep. Right now, people really are into, you know, signature um, different mixers and different things. So I found like a cool tonic that I'm adding to that. Okay. If you want to add some syrup to here, okay. some strawberry syrup. Um, and then I kind of like also, you know, what you saw with the mojitos, we're adding in mint. Mm -hmm. You can find them in the produce area of your grocery store. Okay, so um, we're putting a little lime in there, and then we're going to put a little rosemary. And that gives mm -hmm. it a nice aroma. It's kind mm -hmm. of a different thing um, to use that herb for. Let me smell. Mmm, that is delicious. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. 
That's very it's kind of good. a fun take on a gin and tonic. And I typically crazy. don't love gin and tonics, mm -hmm. but with this strawberry sauce, it's really fresh mm -hmm. and delicious, and it kind of softens it a little bit. Mm -hmm. So exactly, nice. I like it. Is our strawberry sauce cool? Yeah, yet, let's put think? that. Let's put that in the mesh strainer. Okay. So I'm going to pour it into here. Is that right? Yep. And let's just. It smells delicious. Okay. This is a lavender strawberry vodka drink that okay. we're doing. Um, so the first thing I'll show you that we've done on here is so in here there's uh, grated lemon, a little bit of lavender buds that are edible, mm -hmm. and sugar. So put some ice in your glass. Yep, get it wet and you can dip it in. Okay. How are you feeling? Do you feel like you want to measure? Or do you feel like you can just eyeball it? No, I feel like I can eyeball it. Okay. That's how I roll at my Good. own house. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got ice, and then we'll do this quickly. We're running out of time because this has been so. You do the alcohol. I'll do the lemonade, and then, and then with this, we want to put in our strawberry syrup. So you mm -hmm. eyeball that. All right. I have some edible lavender oil, and so I'm just gonna put a little tiny drop in each. Okay. Mm -hmm. Want to just use a very very tiny amount. All right. I do have my friend Lisa here with me today. Can we invite her in yes, to have a sip of our cocktail? Yes, let's invite have a drink. All right. What are you going to try? I'll try the lemonade. All right. Yeah, nice. it looks delicious. Nice. I'm going to try that again, too. I'm going to try that, too. What are you going to pick? Gin and tonic for All me. Right. All right. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers, ladies. Cheers, ladies. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> that is oh. delicious. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Alice, thank you so much. This thank has been you. fun. Thanks. And educational, but I feel excited to have some people over soon. Yeah, thanks.